First, let me say that I am truly grateful to be a part of this, uh, such a meaningful conversation um, about health care for all. Um, tonight, I'm here as, a, not as an adjunct professor, but I'm or representing Shaw, but tonight I'm here as a faith leader, uh, sharing my thoughts and feelings about health care for all. And so initially, the idea of health care for all um, the idea of putting my health care coverage in the government's hands was a bit disconcerting. Uh, what came to my mind um, when I thought about uh, health care for all was restrictive insurance policies, long wait lines, not being able to see the provider of my choice. Um, when I started thinking about universal health care initially, I thought about health care for all and what it would do to the free market system, where supply and demand are the stock and trade of profitability. But then I was reminded that our current healthcare system seems to flourish from our sickness. It thrives from our disease and is essentially non-existent for those who cannot afford it. When I began to think about the fact that there are over 27 million people in the United States without health care, the thousands that die daily because they can't afford their medication, the gross health disparities that have existed in black and brown communities for well over 400 years, in the richest country in the world, this is shameful and unjust. There are many words to define the word justice in the Hebrew Bible. But the constant theme throughout all of these uh, definitions for justice, the constant theme throughout is synonymous with restoration. Justice means fairness. It means equity in, and harmonious social relationships. Justice is how we care for one another. Justice is how we treat one another. Justice is seeing one another, not as inf inferior or superior, but justice is seeing e each and every individual in the, as, uh, in the Imago Dei, which is the image and likeness of God. Justice means that we are leveling the playing field. So whether that justice is in education, whether that justice is in healthcare, whether that justice is in criminal justice system, the idea that we need to level the playing field for over 400 and something years in this country, there has been a disparity in healthcare, a disparity in education, a disparity in criminal justice, a disparity in wealth, there have been so many disparities in our country for well over 400 years. As a faith leader, I just thought now is the time for us to get involved. And I believe that there is an awakening in this country. There's an awakening happening. There's an open door right now for people of faith, people of conscience to roll up our sleeves and get involved in the fight. So whether you worship in a mosque whether you worship in a temple, a synagogue, or a church, I am imploring you to educate yourselves. Call your congressperson. Join the North Carolina Medicare for All team. And let's fight to ensure that all people have access to quality health care. Now is the time, friends. And I'm excited to be a part of this coalition. I'm excited to be a part of this, this fight. Because Jesus said, what you do unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. God bless you. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you.